I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. But I can't, I can't sneeze. I haven't sneezed since the 80s. Oh, boy. Um, well, this bit's over. Uh, I, um, I'm wearing a Snuggie. That's right, I'm making no bones about it. This is a Snuggie. It's a Cubs Snuggie. Those of you who follow me on Twitter know that I'm a big fan of that team. Uh, this was a birthday gift from my pal Elaine, and I wear it all the time. Thanks, Elaine. I don't think my girlfriend likes it, but what are you going to do? Um, hey, she's a Yankee fan like you, Michael Ian Black. Uh, Steven, I'm glad to see you fixed the, the audio problem on, uh, on your most recent update. And I think you're right. He is in danger. Um, Martha, Richard, so great to see you guys. But um, what, a, what, a, what a new spin on the conversation. Because you two were pretty much having a conversation with one another that we were just privy to, as, as opposed to this conversation. Um, I wonder if that's the direction this is going to go in now, if I'm going to have to include someone else in my conversations. Uh, yeah, the weekends are, are rough for those with the, with the kids. I suppose. Um, here's a Steve, uh, or not Steve, yeah, Stephen Weber. Um, your first video without sound reminded me of this story um, many years ago uh, when I first was living in Los Angeles uh, shooting Freaks and Geeks. I lived in this terrible building, and the the ground floor of this building, or the the, the basement level, really there was the parking lot area as well as the laundry room right there and um this was the only way in and out of the building really and if you arrived at home anytime between say 5 and 7 p.m you would inevitably be standing waiting for this one elevator with a dozen people all getting home from work at the same time and this elevator was horrible it was positioned right up against the wall in the corner so everyone would be crowding around the elevator waiting for it to show up. And, um, and then one time I was standing there and I was right up against the elevator and the doors open and there's this one woman there with a laundry basket wanting to get to the laundry room. And there was nowhere for me to really move to get out of the way. And, um, and so I tried my best, you know, with all these people behind me to like twist myself so she had a little bit of room, enough room to get between uh, me and the wall. And so she kind of moves past me with her, her laundry basket. And then when she's like three feet past me without even turning around to address my face, she just screams at me, uh, try moving out of the way next time, asshole. Just screams at me. Like it was my fault that all these people, most of them didn't even see that she was in the elevator. And, uh, and it just ruined my day. Just ruined it. And, uh, and then about two days later, that weekend, I, um, I was in the elevator again, and uh, I was headed down, and then she gets on the elevator, and it's just the two of us, and I'm standing right there by the, by the keypad on the elevator, and uh, she stands behind me. She can't see my face, and she says, uh, hey, could you hit lobby? And I, I do nothing. She says, could you hit lobby? And then she, like, leans forward angrily and just slams Lobby. And just shoots me this dirty look. And then I just turned back to her and I, I said, I'm sorry, didn't you say something? Now, there's... If, if I could bottle the look on her face when she thought she had both angrily yelled at and called uh, a deaf kid an asshole in front of a large group of people. Really, there's no excuse to call anyone an asshole in front of a large group of people unless they're really being an asshole. Um, how else will she learn was really what I was thinking. How else will she learn? But, 
But I want to say for the record, uh, that very poor impression of a deaf person I just did, um, I know a handful of hearing impaired people, and uh, uh, my father speaks American Sign Language. He has many deaf patients. He's a dentist. And uh, so in no way is that a slight uh, upon my hearing impaired friends. Um, I just wanted to clear that up so that I do not have to have Tina Fey make a statement for me as well.